professional component of clinical pathology services the plaintiff provided to the defendants, patients, and subscribers. Total amount, $1,546,479. That's what it is. They never contested it. Never said it was unreasonable. They never said the interest calculations were wrong. Presented no evidence on that. Nothing. Where's the scale of justice on that? Here's the proof the plaintiff put in. What did the defendant do? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Because that's not what this case is about to the defendant. To the defendant, the battle line was drawn in this courtroom to never have to pay the professional component of clinical pathology services. Period. So that they can keep the money and make the profits. Bottom line. What's the risk of that? The defendant's failure to pay results in a risk to patient health care, increased risk of death, loss of quality control, less accuracy in reporting, less safety, promotes doctors leaving Florida. This is not in the patient's best interest. So we're going to ask at the end of this case to come back with a verdict in favor of the plaintiff against the defendant and award the total amount of damages that this defendant has owed the plaintiff since 2000, actually 1999, but we can only sue to March 1 of 2001. Sitting there with the plaintiff's money, it's time for the defendant to pay up. And we're going to ask you to come back with a verdict awarding the entire amount, $1,546,479. Thank you. I'll only have about uh, four and a half minutes uh, when I come back up, but I appreciate your attention. Thank you very much.